Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today we've got David Bowie right here, man, with changes. All right, this is a donation request for two versions, all right? We got a donation request for um, the studio and another donation request for the live to put them together, all right? So we got, hi, Sean. When you get a chance, I would love for you to react to two versions of David Bowie's changes studio version, Rick Wakeman plays piano on this. Love Rick, man. I love seeing his name come across. And I think it's so cool that he worked with David Bowie. Um, and then the live version, which is live in Paris, 1999, all right? Uh, goes on to say Mike Gar uh, Garson on piano this time. Okay, so we're going to have two different individuals from studio to live, all right? The song ends around 3.45. You can stop it there if you want to. There's just audience noise until 4.09. Then he talks to the audience until the end at 5. 10. We'll see if I remember when we get there to fast forward uh, past the audience uh, straight to the last part because I'd like to see uh, what he goes on to say. All right. It says one thing I wanted to tell you about his characters in 1971 when he recorded this song and the album Hunky Dory. He was maybe toying with a certain mask or persona, but he wasn't a full blown character like Ziggy Stardust. He was still David Bowie. And in the late 1970s, he abandoned characters. He still changed his hair and clothes a lot. But aside from uh, the maybe his Perot character uh, in his 1980s Ashes to Ashes video, he didn't adopt characters or personas anymore until much later with The Blind Prophet in his 2016 album Black Star. He also played characters in many movies, but that's different, of course. Thanks so much. So that is one thing I do know about David Bowie. Always knew his name, never his music until we started this channel, but I do know David Bowie's name and I know Labyrinth, right? My, my wife loves the movie Labyrinth. I haven't ever watched it, uh, but I do know what David Bowie's character looked like in Labyrinth. Like I could imagine it right now in my head, um, but I know that he was associated. That's the only movie, so I don't know if he's done other acting. You say he, he played characters in many movies, so yeah, I guess there had to be a lot of other acting, but that's the only role I know that David Bowie played, so I'm not sure what else he's ever played in his life but let's go ahead and dive into this thank you for the history uh, appreciate that so it's going to help me understand right here once we get into that because it's 1999 all right so let's go ahead and take a listen change this right here studio version and then we'll hop into the live appreciate it here we go okay. <laughs> let's switch up And my time was running wild A million dead-end streets And every time I thought I got it made It seemed the taste was not so sweet So I turned myself to face me But I've never caught a glimpse Of how the others must see the faker I'm much too fast to take that test Ch -ch 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 changes Turn and face the strain Ch -ch Changes Don't wanna be a richer man Ch -ch 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 Changes Turn and face the strain Ch -ch -ch Changes It's gonna have to be a different man Time may change me But I can't trace time It's so crazy that Rick's on piano here But never leave the stream of warm and permanent sand mm. So the days float through my eyes But still the days seem the same And these children that you spit on As they try to change their worlds Yo. Are immune to your consultations They're quite aware of what they're going through Wow. Turn and face the strain. Ch -ch Changes. Don't tell them to grow up out of it. Changes. Turn and face the strain. Ch -ch Changes. Where's the shame you've left us up to her next? Changes. Oh, look out, your 
that time may change me. Yeah. But I can trace time. That's the way it goes. That's the way it happens. That's such a nice one. This is such a nice one from Bowen Gang, man. Um, very shocked by the style of piano we get right here with uh, Rick, first and foremost, as I'm used to hearing Rick doing some progressive-like stuff. Man, this took me to, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what those settings are, but kind of where you're just in the, the, the smoky jazz bar room, right? And there, it's kind of soft uh, piano being played and... The guy kind of talking, singing over the microphone in the suit. That's really where it took me right here with his piano playing at points. And then we got kind of more upbeat. The lyrics right here are so wonderful, man. He, I mean, this guy, David Bowie, man, he's just, it's almost like uh, looking at times. He's really looking ahead and, and examining the situation that's at hand and breaking it down for you right here. And it's so true, everything he said. Some of the changes he's, we're talking about, I felt were personal. Kind of like you can constantly change your situation but sometimes some of us feel um even though we're making those changes it feels like the same day right it feels like the same like we didn't end up getting what we thought we were going to get out of these changes i've been there before man you think hey if i change a b and c about my life i'll feel better and you change a b and c but you still feel the same which might be bad right i don't know man uh so i felt like he highlighted that area but then he went on to highlight almost like a like a like the changes are coming from bob dylan kind of vibe where it's like hey you're getting older you're you're crapping on the youth but guess what they're not gonna bow down they're not gonna break at your word okay they feel like they're making changes and they're gonna go through that like and that happens with every generation right we get older and a lot of the times we crap on the people who are younger than us because times change from what we were used to and we like what we had maybe and and these guys don't get it but they're going to keep going about and they're going to make their changes. The world's just going to constantly be changing. And at some point, maybe we're out of season. That doesn't mean we have to be out of touch. But sometimes we become out of touch and out of season, right? Um, and then uh, we don't connect with the youth. But I like that he kind of highlighted that is, hey, man, times are going to change. Um, you know, maybe it's better. It's almost a reflection song of saying, hey, maybe it's better if you just take a moment and and – because you won't ever get through to anybody just by criticizing them and, and uh, crapping on their character. You got to find a way to connect and build a bridge uh, to gap that um, space between you two. And I just like the song. It made me think like that. And Bob Dylan helped me think like that. Now David Bowie helped me think like that. And, um, man, I sure am trying to do that with my kids. And I think we have a great relationship. But I'm going to have to do that throughout my life because I know times are just going to keep changing. My kids are going to keep changing. Um, and as he said, sometimes we get older and we change too. Uh, and I felt like the changes I've made are for the better, but I always have to try to be relatable to help my kids grow because once you're not relatable anymore, people don't really care what you have to say because sometimes you just come off as a prude or, or whatever the case is, a, a thorn in their side, man. So you want to stay relatable. You want to stay, um, good with the people you care about. That way they actually hopefully have a chance of hearing your words, right? A lot of us learn through our mistakes, but some of us also have those words from very influential members of our life where it's like they really hit, hit it with us, man. <clears throat> Sorry for rambling off. I forgot we had another one to get into. So let's go ahead and get into Paris. Really like the song, obviously. So let's go ahead and see the live version. All right, here we go. We got the live version. A couple more minutes added on. So that's going to be dope, man. See how they change it up a little bit. Don't want to waste any more of your time. So here we go. David Bowie changes life, Paris, 1999. Still don't know what I was waiting for. Time was running wild. Dead end streets, and every time I thought I got it made, it seemed this was not so sweet. So I turned myself to face me, but I never caught a glimpse. How the others must see this fake. I'm much too fast to take the test. Ch -ch 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 Change me. I can't trace time. 
love that line, dude. This side never leave the stream mm-hmm. more than permanent So the days float through my eyes, still the same, see the same, just the same. And these children that you spit on as they try to change their worlds, they're immune to your consultation. They're quite aware of what they're going. God, you said it was over. <laughs> you said it was over early. I thought we were getting more song at the start. You let me know. Okay, so we... Yeah, I'm gonna let it play out. Dang, that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> I love Harry in the fall too. I got engaged to my wife here, you know, on the river Seine. <sighs> ah, that wouldn't interest you. Look, I'm only supposed to do 45 minutes, so anyway, thank you for coming. <laughs> well, we're only going to do another 20 minutes, all right? <laughs> I love it. Very, very strict about this, do you understand? Uh, we're going to have to stay in school afterwards. This, uh, please indulge me because we're going to do uh, some, a new song, a couple of old songs, and a couple of more obscure songs. You don't mind, do you? Is that okay? Is that okay? He loves talking we'll to the, the audience. Song love first. that. It's very gentle. It's called Seven. I wish more artists would do that, but I get it too. Like they're on a limited time. The more you talk, the more. Th- some of those fans are gonna be like yo just get into the music like we want to hear more uh i appreciate those moments man i feel like every time i've gone to a concert man you get very little talking at all and sometimes you just want to know more about them you want to hear them you want to see the person they are and you don't get that experience man but it's awesome when you do this is the second time no third time we've seen david bowie live right and the second time we've seen him engage in conversation on these quick videos uh so i imagine it's more when he's live dude that you you actually get to see him i'm sure it was more uh when he was up there so that's dope let's dive in learn a little bit more about changes right here love the live version uh i just gotta imagine like playing the keys playing a note that you know rick created has got to be such like an awesome experience i was just thinking you're hitting those keys that at some point his mind his body created and you're pressing those same keys thinking, wow, this 
just flowed through him. That that is awesome to me. That that would be such a humbling experience uh, to me, honestly. Uh, David Bowie did a fantastic job right here. I feel like the ch ch changes. Like, has somebody used that in another song before? Is there any song that stutters like changes? That maybe they pulled it from David Bowie because uh, I hadn't ever heard this song before, but I feel like stuttering the word changes I have heard before, but I don't know where I would have heard that because I hadn't ever heard this song before. So curious about that. If you guys know anything about that, I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit about changes. All right, so we got changes right here from David Bowie, released in 1972 um, off the Hunky Dory album. Okay, and it's called Art Pop. Uh, songwriter on this is David Bowie himself. It says, Changes is a song by the English singer-songwriter from 1971. Written following his promotional tour of America in 1971, Changes rec was recorded uh, in London between June and July. It says, Co-produced by Bowie, Ken Scott. It featured Rick Wakeman on piano um, and the musicians who would later become known as the Spiders from Mars, Rick uh, Mick Ronson, Trevor Boulder, and Mick wood manzi i don't know the spiders from mars uh i'm not familiar with that it says at this point in his career bowie had experimented with numerous musical styles all of which failed to earn him stardom the lyrics of changes reflect this with the first verse foc focusing on the compulsive nature of artistic reinvention and distancing oneself from the rock mainstream i think that's i did hear him mention something about rock in there but i love the way that these lyrics can transcend his own experiences and relate to us in our own lives because i'm hearing the way he's talking about it. he's tried these different things and they've all kind of fallen on their face and left him feeling almost empty is the way that i was perceiving it and that could be for a lot of us in changing our careers and changing our daily habits and still feeling like we fell back to where we were and it didn't quite change what we felt inside dude I, it's very relatable and I think that's just awesome the way it transcends that. The second verse concerns clashes between children and their parents, urging them to allow the children to be themselves as teenagers, a topic Bowie has spoken about before. Once again, another lyric that changes, right? I feel that in my relation to my kids, but I also felt that as, you know, maybe like the revolution happening with like the flower era, the flower generation, right? And it continues to happen all throughout generations where the older generation can accept the younger generation um and it's just gonna be that way for time uh, and at some point we become that older, older generation and we might have to look inside and say hey i remember i hated the way this felt so let me try not to make them hate uh interactions with me right i think it's wise it's beautiful um so it says musically changes is an art pop song that features a distinctive piano riff the song flopped as a single later garnering uh success following the release of ziggy stardust rca later chose it as a b-side for the reissue of space oddity in 1975 that's an awesome double that's a cool sided record right there man you got space oddity and you got changes man i'm all about it, it says changes is regarded as one of bowie's best songs with many praising bowie's vocal performance and wakeman's piano playing it has also appeared on several best of lists okay his biographers have viewed the track as a manifesto of his entire career predicting a constant change of musical styles bowie performed changes frequently during his concert tours it was the final song he performed on stage before his death in 2016 wow well that that's a connection right there that is a connection this is a long last song david bowie played live for us the song has appeared on numerous compilation albums and in the namesake uh is the namesake of several several artists have uh covered the song including australian singer butterfly boucher Bo boucher for 2004 film shrek 2 see i don't remember this off shrek 2 um but yeah i don't know i i feel like just the changes part i had heard before but not in this style not in david bowie's song so i don't know maybe if i went back and listened to that shrek 2 maybe that's where it is it's somewhere in my memory like i said the stuttering changes had never heard anything like this song before though so appreciate the donation request thank you guys sorry sorry for the long one i talk a lot when i, I get when i get feeling something from a great song so clearly i was touched by this thank you for this donation request I have a feeling you knew I love it, man. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope all of y'all enjoyed hitting play today and diving in with this one with me. Let me know from David Bo more from David Bowie that you guys would like featured on the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description. Consider becoming a member on my YouTube Patreon. Three bucks all it takes. Get that star by your name down in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.